I need to adjust the mirror so that the light hits them just right. Part is missing. I've seen these symbols before. They were in that newspaper story about hobos. Hello, Miss Drew. Hi, Mr. Topham. Now what? Josiah ordered something from the Krollmeister Crystal Company just before he passed away. Do you know if it ever arrived? You must be talking about that chunk of quartz that came last winter. I still have it right here. Why? Well, as a matter of fact, I'm a rock collector. Do you think I could have it? Perhaps we can work something out. You see, amazing as this is going to sound, I am able to project my thoughts into another person's brain. Really? The only problem is, not everyone has the intellectual capacity to receive my thoughts. But since you have already demonstrated a high level of intelligence, yes, you may very well be the ideal subject. Subject? As in, experiment? You are going to help me prove that I am telepathic. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to shuffle a deck which contains five sets of these cards. Then I'm going to turn my back, draw a card, look at it, and start transmitting my thoughts. When you receive my thoughts, you will identify the card I'm looking at. Once you correctly identify five cards in a row, I'll give you that piece of quartz. But what if I can't do it? Just stay focused on the cards and my superior brain power will do the rest. Very well, let's begin. What card am I looking at? I think it's this one. Very good. Here's another. Do you know what card I'm looking at? This one? 
Wrong. Here's another. What card am I looking at? This one? That's not right. Here's another. What card is this? This one. Incorrect. You must focus. Here's another. Do you know what card I'm looking at? This one. Wrong. Well, you failed to correctly identify five in a row. Shall we continue? You bet. Ready when you are. Very well. Let's begin. Tell me, what card is this? This one. Very good. Here's another. What card am I looking at? I think it's this one. Excellent. Here's another. Tell me, what card is this? This one. Excellent. Here's another. Which card am I thinking of? I think it's this one. Excellent. Here's another. What card am I thinking about? This one. Wrong. Oh my gosh. Whenever he picks up a particular card, he always says the same thing. Well, you failed to correctly identify five in a row. Shall we continue? You bet. Ready when you are. Very well. Let's begin. Can you tell me what card this is? This one. Very good. Here's another. This is which card? This one. Wonderful. Here's another. Can you tell me what card this is? This one? Excellent. Here's another. Tell me what card is this? This one. You go, girl. Here's another. Do you know what card I'm looking at? This one. Very good. You did it. Well, actually, I did it. But in any case, thank you for your assistance. Here's the piece of crystal that Josiah ordered. Take it. You've earned it. Well, actually, I earned it, but let's not quibble. But, Mr. Topham, I didn't really... I mean, you didn't really... I mean, I'm afraid that subconsciously you may have... <sighs> yes? Never mind. Do you need anything else? Do you by any chance know who Marcel is? Marcel was what Josiah called his favorite hat. His hat? The man named his hat? He loved that hat, so to him, naming it made perfect sense. Do you still have Marcel? No, as a matter of fact, I gave that hat to Gloria Crandall. She said she was fond of the old fellow and wanted something to remember him by, although I suspect the real reason she wanted that hat was to see if he'd stashed any money in it. It was nice talking to you. The feeling is almost mutual. Nancy, I'm afraid there's been more trouble. Trouble? It's Emily. She... Oh, this is silly. I'm her guardian. I should just make her sell this place. She's only 17, for Pete's sakes. She should be out meeting boys and going to parties, not trying to run a business. Miss Willoughby, what happened? Just go ask her and make her tell you everything. Jane told you, didn't she? What happened? That picture on the wall over there? I saw it move. I was just sitting here and it moved all by itself. I saw it move. I really did. Last week, a book fell off the shelf for no reason. And before that, I heard these weird noises. And almost every day I hear a voice, like a whisper, coming out of nowhere. Jane thinks it's nerves, but I... I don't want to talk about this. Did you see Jim Archer? I'm afraid I don't have very good news. The jewelry wasn't insured? Your mom dropped the insurance in order to save money for... Shh! Did you hear that? Hear what? Shh! Nothing. I'm going to have to sell the inn, aren't I? You know, it's possible, just possible, that the will that was found was not the will Josiah wrote. You mean, he may have left us money after all? No, that's wishful thinking. And I refuse to get my hopes up again because they'll probably just get dashed again. Listen, I feel bad enough that you drove all the way out here for nothing. Maybe you should just go home. Would you mind if I stayed for a while? 
No, but I really don't feel like being sociable right now. There's nothing for you to do. I'd like to see if Josiah hid a second will somewhere. <laughs> what are you? Some kind of Sam Spade? Well, just because I've never solved a mystery before doesn't mean I can't. Anyway, there's no harm in trying, right? Who knows? I might turn out to be good at it. Be my guest. Do you have any idea where Josiah may have hidden a safe deposit box key? He could have hidden it anywhere. He always said his favorite hiding place was right under people's noses. Did Josiah ever say anything about hiding his will somewhere? No, but he was always hiding stuff. I know because he was always writing reminders to himself about how to find it. But whenever the subject of his will came up, he'd just say he was happy knowing we were going to be happy when he passed on. Time will tell. That's all he'd say. Would you happen to know where your mother put Josiah's favorite hat? Look in the drawer right below me. That's where all Mom's mementos are. I'll be back in a little bit. You're the best. Maybe this is the key to Josiah's safe deposit box. So, what did Emily say? Did she tell you about the pictures and the voices? How long has this been going on? For about two weeks, I guess. You know what? I'll bet it's me. I'll bet it finally hit Emily that I'm just not Gloria and I never will be and that running this place is always going to be all up to her. And it was just more than her poor mind could bear. What did the sheriff say when you called him about the stolen jewels? He said since nobody got robbed at gunpoint or anything, coming out here again just didn't seem necessary. Said it sounded to him like the jewelry had just been misplaced. You see, I, well, it only felt fair to tell him about Emily's, you know, delicate state of mind. Well, I'll talk to you later. Don't take any wooden nickels. Hello again. I think I found the key to Josiah's safe deposit box. Really? I have it right here. It is from this bank. May I see if it opens the box? It takes two keys to open a safe deposit box. The owner's key and my key. And in this case, I'm under no obligation to open it for you. Oh, but I... However, were you to do me a small favor... Sure. I hired a seamstress to make a dress for my wife's birthday next week. Unfortunately, the seamstress and I had a falling out, and now I need to find someone to finish the dress. Just hire a new seamstress. Oh, the fact of the matter is, the dressmaker quit because I couldn't pay her. I misled you before. Business is not fine. This bank is on the brink of ruin. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Mr. Archer. I wanted to get my wife something nice because... Well, it might be the last nice thing she gets for a long, long time. Now, Emily once mentioned that Jane used to be a dressmaker. Say no more. Just give me the dress and I'll take care of it. I have it right here. The seamstress said that all the pieces have been cut out and basted together. All that's needed is a sewing machine. When it's finished, bring it back and I'll let you try that key in Josiah's safe deposit box. I guess I'll be going. Goodbye now. I've only got half a tank of gas left. I should gas up before I forget.
Is this your sewing machine? Actually, that belonged to my mom. She and Jane used to be dressmakers. Mom was going to teach me how to use it, but she... she never got the chance. Would it be all right if I used your sewing machine? Go right ahead, but remember, you're on your own. There's no needle. It's probably in the box with the rest of Mom's sewing stuff. Ask Jane if she knows where it is. What's cooking? Would you happen to know where the needle for the sewing machine in Emily's room is? I moved all of Gloria's sewing things out of there and put them in a little box. Look, I'm supposed to get the pies we baked before all the hullabaloo this morning ready for the delivery man. They gotta be put in the shipping container just so or he casts a kitten. This is how he wants them organized. Now why don't you go out on the porch and get those pies ready to go while I look for that sewing box? Sounds good. All done. I'll bet those are the two brothers that built the inn and Josiah's house. Looks like there might be some kind of tunnel around here. There's something written on the back. From the looks of those lanterns, I'm not the only one who's been down here recently. Jeepers, I'm behind one of the walls in Emily's room. I'll bet that's how someone makes that picture move. A dollar! This piggy bank looks like it's been here for a long time.
guess I better not leave the lights on. Jeepers, that sounds like Richard Topham. This door light? must open right into his there living room. Go. Good kitty. Guess I better not leave the lights on. Thanks for doing the pies. The more I do it, the worse I seem to get at it. Here's that box. I'm sure that sewing machine needle is in there somewhere. I see it. Remember, when it comes to using it, you're on your own, kiddo. I think I know why Emily has been seeing and hearing strange things. Well, I'm all ears. Tell me. I found a secret passageway that goes from the inn to Josiah Crowley's old house. And off of it, I found a staircase that leads to a space behind a wall in Emily's room. That's the staircase that's in this old picture. You mean, the noises that Emily's been hearing, the things she's been seeing, it's because someone's been sneaking around behind the wall in her room? Did you know about the secret passageway? No, and I've never heard Emily say anything about it either. I was able to open the staircase because I saw the picture I just showed you. And I found that picture on the shelf in your podium. You mean it was right there under my nose? Hold the phone! You think I'm the one who's been sneaking around? Can you think of somebody else who may have had access to that picture? Anyone who's ever been behind this desk could have seen that picture. It's hardly fair to go pointing a finger at me. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. Well, you're just trying to help Emily, so I guess I shouldn't get mad. She went into town to run some errands. At least that's what I told her to do. Heaven knows she could use some fresh air. Well, I'll talk to you later. Bye now.